haven't really done that in this before. I'm not sure how it's gonna go, but let's try it. Hello everyone, Alex the Rat here. Um, yeah, this is the first time I'm showing my face on YouTube. <laughs> um, you've seen my hands before in the Duke Nukem uh, 2 review, but this is the first time I'm actually showing my face. So, I <laughs> 10 months since my last video, which was the Lunastis review. Jesus. I mean, that's almost a year. I'm so sorry <laughs> for not uploading more content since then. Um, if you are following my channel, thank you so much. Um, the reason I decided to take a break uh, was that while I was having fun making those videos, I got some feedback, uh, which made me decide to sort of take a break. Just basically uh, reevaluate the whole workflow and you know what I want to put into them. Uh, so I decided to just you know take a break from making videos and you know have the videos I made just because sort of season one of Alex the Rap. If you want to call it that? Um, I've taken some time to you know write down some ideas of videos I want to make and stuff I want to cover. Because I still want to do YouTube. Uh, I haven't given up on that idea at all. It's just I needed some time away. Because in addition to doing YouTube, I'm also a musician and I, I work on a lot of stuff. I'm <laughs> constantly, you know, occupied with something. And yeah, 2023 was very busy for me in terms of my music. Uh, but I released, well, a new Zone Trip album, Power Play, uh, which I believe uh, came out around April or May, because uh, I was playing a gig uh, as Zone Tripper in Finland um, in May, I think. Actually, before that, I was playing a small gig uh, locally, supporting Piston Dam, which is a band you really need to check out, they're awesome. <laughs> Check out Piss and Damp. Uh, if you like my stuff, you're, you're gonna love Piss and Damp. So I supported them and played, you know, a track from this. And after that, I played in Finland. So, you know, that was already two gigs this year. Um, that was insane <laughs> for me. I haven't played that many gigs in several years, like since 2012, I think. So after that, I had to work on releasing the physical CD of my Technomatter album, Hyperfuel, which technically released last year. But I wanted to make a physical release and I wanted to do something a little bit special with it. So I decided to like sort of mix the tracks together so they flow together in a way, uh, similar to, you know, old school Pink Floyd records and stuff like that. So yeah, you can get this on my Bandcamp. I'll have a link in the description. Right, well, <laughs> so um, yeah, it's a two CD um, collection of, you know, the, the first CD is the album itself, you can find out on Spotify and stuff, but the second CD is all bonus tracks and, you know, some stuff that is kind of hard to find anywhere else. And unfortunately, these copies have a misprint. Uh, the second CD has the same tracks as the first CD. We're working on getting those replaced, but it's taking a bit too long, but uh, if you bought this on my back, I'm, I'm gonna send you a replacement for the second CD like the moment it comes in. So just order and I'll send it to you for free. So yeah, you can get this there. And if you buy it on my Bandcamp, you also get a digital download of the second CD. So you'll have the tracks anyway, so digitally. So yeah, it's definitely buy this if you like my stuff. And I also had a new single out uh, of my track without you. And yeah, it's been yeah, it's been a busy year for me because uh, I also played a gig in Sweden uh, in August. I had to prepare for both of those gigs. Like I had to practice, I had to set up, you know, the track lists and just prepare stuff. And that takes time away from other stuff. So I haven't even worked on my game in over a year now. Uh, yeah, I'm working on a game. Um, those who don't know, I 
have a little, you know, development studio, if you want to call it that, called Nuke Protons with my brother Kuro, who's doing graphics and stuff. And we're working on a game called Ether, which is gonna be an awesome, like, EGA throwback game, like, too. If you, if you played early RPG games like Bio Menace and Duke Nukem and stuff like that, it's gonna be pretty much like that, but with a more modern style to it. Like, we're, we're kind of mixing a bit of modern sensibilities and retro aesthetic here, so yeah, it's gonna it's gonna have a bit of that to it. Yeah. Back to my YouTube stuff. I'm actually working on a video right now. It's gonna be up uh, hopefully by the end of October or early November. Uh, it depends, because I'm actually doing this as a collaborative video with uh, a couple other YouTubers. I won't mention them, because uh, I want to keep it a surprise. But, um, uh, it's gonna be awesome having a couple collaborators on this video because it's gonna be something very special and something I, I'm really passionate about. It's, and that was the whole point of coming back. Uh, was I had to find something that I was very passionate about that I really wanted to cover on YouTube. And it is something I unfortunately haven't seen a lot of other of my fellow YouTubers cover that I follow to my disappointment. So. I'm probably going to be one of the few people actually covering this and that's why I wanted to get some other YouTubers in on it, so it's not just me uh, doing this. I also have some other ideas I'm going to you know, put into video form, so definitely expect some more YouTube stuff coming soon. Um, I also want to give a shout out to Chris Asik, uh, also known as Ancient Dust Games, or Pixel Amusement, because he also does develop video games. and. Um, and he has a YouTube series called Ancient DOS Games, and I really recommend sh checking that out. Um, extremely informative, very easy to follow, and he has a very like nice, calm voice. Um, and he was the one who actually gave me the most valuable feedback uh, on my early videos, like stuff I could improve and stuff I could do differently, and that was very valuable to me. So, huge thanks to Chris. Um, definitely check his stuff out. And of course, DOS Gamer. Uh, he has been super supportive of me, and I've been, uh, you know, following his channel and donating to him and supporting him because I, I really love what he's doing. And he does um, live streams every Monday, sometimes in the weekends too. Like, there's multiplayer stuff and he covers a lot of like unique retro stuff and especially stuff from the Netherlands because he's Dutch so there's a lot of like Dutch stuff on this channel if you are curious about that and it's not just DOS stuff like it's all kinds of retro stuff from the 90s and the 2000s so yeah definitely give his channel a look I'll have a link in the description as well um, he actually made the um, intro uh, thing for me. So yeah, he's been extremely supportive and huge, huge thanks and gratitude to DOS Gamer. Uh, and of course, um, I don't have really have anything else to say other than there is more stuff coming and I haven't quit YouTube. <laughs> Just taken a long ass break for almost a year. So yeah, cheers everyone.